Hello and welcome to St. Michael's Church Preschool and Nursery. We are currently walking up to our main nursery entrance where you'll be greeted by a smiley familiar face member of staff. At the moment, due to COVID-19, we've had to section out our main area. Currently, we have our baby room and our preschool um, accessing it through the main door. At all times, we ask all parents and children to keep two metres social distance until you call forward. As you can see, right by the door, there's a hand sanitizer which all children and parents can use. There is also a cleaning station to clean all bags and anything else that needs to come into the setting. Once you have done this, you can ring the doorbell or you will see a familiar staff member. We welcome you to the setting and we hope you enjoy our visual tour and we hope to see you soon. Welcome to our preschool area. Our preschool area is split across one big floor of the upstairs building. They have access to four rooms which we will go and explore. Our, at present, we have numbered all our rooms and given them a shape and colour to help the children recognise where they will be playing for the day whilst they're inside. This is room one. Our room one is mainly based around imagination. As you can see, they have a small world kitchen that they are able to explore and build upon. They have small world animals and other resources that they can help to build their imagination. We access boxes and other free play that the children can use their imagination to explore as we found that this will really embed some of the deep skills that they need as they grow older. Within our preschool room due to the current restrictions we have ratios of one to eight per room. As we go into our second room, which is our green circle room, again, you can see the children have free access to a range of resources like they do throughout the whole nursery. There's a range of activities that they can join in with and to help and explore. There's a lot of mass mat um, materials and resources and we encourage them to do a range of things which interest them. Again, they have small world kitchens, um, where they can play and explore and we do change these up depending on the children's interests. They can be a doctors, they can be a vet as we like to engage with the children and what they're interested in. So welcome to our third room. Our third room is one of the messy rooms upstairs. Within this room, the children have a massive easel, which is a chalkboard one side and a whiteboard the other side, which is also magnetic, which the children love to get the paints out and freely use. There's a small part of construction in the back area where the children will make their own houses, they will make and build their own cars and dens. So we're extending anything that they draw and paint, they're able to build. The children will always access this room and they absolutely love getting messy. So our last room upstairs is our room number four. Our room number four is mainly based as our construction room. Again, as you can go in, the children have access to a range of materials that they can use. As you can see, there's construction materials that they will build and they will balance. And there's also stickle bricks, Lego that they can access and not just the natural materials which we are trying to provide in the nursery. A very popular favourite of ours is the train track, so when you do come in, the train track will always be out. So welcome to our outdoor classroom. We are very fortunate to have this just off the side of our main garden. Mainly our preschool children access this as an extension from their learning environment indoors. As you can see, the children have a range of materials which are both seen inside and outside, but we do encourage them to look on bug hunt, to draw and see what they see around them in their environments. And there's also number and shape activities as well as blocks and buildings that they can do.